I am not a certified psychologist. I am just sharing my opinions on why you should look after yourself and providing suggestions on how to do so. And while I use you a lot in this video, I am also referring to myself. If you're going through a rather tough time, please seek professional help. Sometimes, I think life is designed to drive you crazy. The amount of pressure we face on a daily basis is enough to commit oneself to a psychiatric ward. There is student debt that keeps mounting every single month, credit card debt, you have to pay the mortgage, car insurance, school fees if you have kids, so much so that you feel you're drowning. If you are in a first world country, lucky you, at least you have access to good internet, roads that won't kill you, a functional transport system, some level of security and a good healthcare system. Between the hustle and the grind that life presents, it is so easy to forget the most important thing, you. A recent study shows that 67% report caring for others over their own self-care and 1 in 3 people feel guilty taking time for themselves. We forget that if we don't take care of ourselves, we can easily become a part of the statistics, a hashtag that trends for a minute only to be forgotten in a second. Taking care of yourself is knowing that you are important. Not constantly ignoring your wants and needs and the things that make you feel alive. I can best describe it as prioritizing your happiness and fulfillment without infringing on others. If you go the extra mile to cheer others on and make them feel loved and accepted, should you not extend the same level of kindness and consideration to yourself? Don't get me wrong, I'm not asking you to be borderline selfish as I am well aware of the thin line between self-care and being self-absorbed that you literally can think of anyone other than yourself. A better way of looking at it is that when you care for yourself, you're able to operate on a higher level of self and consciousness. You feel more, you, you make better decisions and improve the lives of everyone you come in contact with. Here are some of the things you need to realize when prioritizing your self-care. 1. You are not the hero of the world. As hard as it is to hear, you are not the hero of the world and the duty to save everyone doesn't rest on your shoulders. There is a huge difference between being there when you're needed to constantly waiting around to fix everyone's problem. Not to mention that doing this will rob the people around you of the ability to learn from their own experiences. 2. It is not bad to expect something in return. Why do we feel bad when our actions are not reciprocated? It is because we are humans and it is not bad to expect something in return when you have done something for someone. Taking care of yourself is your own responsibility so when that love is not reciprocated, it is okay to lay back and keep some of that love to yourself. 3. Attract the right energy. There is a law of attraction that says you attract the energy that you pour out. If you always present yourself as an available rescuer, you will always attract people needing to be rescued and this drains your energy physically, spiritually and mentally. Here are some major warning signs that you're not taking care of yourself as much as you need to be. Number one is you feel like you're not good enough. We all experience downtime, but if you constantly feel that you're not good enough or you feel horrible about yourself almost all of the time, then it can be a signal that you're not taking care of yourself as much as you need to. And that is something you need to work on. However, if you've tried to work on this over several weeks and you still feel horrible all of the time, then you probably need to seek professional help. Number two is that your personal hygiene starts suffering. Oftentimes, when we exhaust ourselves, we, when we overwork ourselves, we may get to a point where our hygiene is lacking. Um, before you know it, you're waking up too late and 
you have no time to take the laundry out you have no time to do your makeup you have no time to take your bath i have experienced that before where i am so tired that i i don't even want to take a bath and over time these things add up and it can lead to a stage where you just stop caring about how you look how you smell and that's just an indication that you need to work on yourself more number three is weight gain while there is absolutely nothing wrong with gaining a little bit of weight people that overwork themselves or that are on a very busy schedule tend to eat whatever they find because they're just too busy to cook a meal or to take their time to find something healthy so they just end up eating whatever they find and whatever is closest to them you wake up one morning and you're wondering where did all of that weight gain come from well it's because you were self neglecting even though you were doing it unconsciously and people that are too busy uh, don't eat as healthy and then they don't exercise and then before you know it you start to gain weight weight gain can lead to more serious conditions such as heart disease or obesity so watch it number four is feelings of extreme tiredness or insomnia there was a time that before you eat the sheets you're already sleeping but now you can't seem to find sleep that may be an indication that you need to start taking care of yourself more there are also some times that you're actually sleeping but your brain is still working even though you're sleeping <laughs> i know that has happened to me countless times before and that just means that you're putting your body in a state of overdrive you're always thinking and overthinking if that continues to happen you may end up with a sleep disorder and that is the reason why you need to start taking that seriously right now you need to start accounting for it am i sleeping well am i getting a good quality sleep over time when you don't sleep well it will affect how you interact with people it will affect your mood and that's not good and that's not what we want I can only imagine that you spend time on things that you consider worthy, right? So when you take time to care for yourself, you're sending a signal to your brain to say, hey, I am important. So self-care is directly proportional to self-worth, which is proportional to self-esteem, and this increases your productivity. It's time to discover your passion and experience your being. Are you ready? Mm. Good morning. We got the moves. Hey. We got the moves. Good yeah. morning, the moon we got Hey. Ooh, ah. We got the moves. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Sleep. The National Sleep Foundation advises that healthy adults need between 7 to 9 hours of sleep. But even if you can't put in as much hours because you have to wake up early to go to work and you're just getting 5 hours of sleep, make sure that it's quality sleep. Eat. Eat good food. Have a healthy snack lying around so that you can constantly remind yourself to stay healthy but don't be afraid to have a cheat meal every now and then. Life's not that hard. A little balance goes a long way to ensure we have a well-rounded lifestyle. Get tested. I recently forced myself to get a pap smear test. A pap smear, also called a pap test, is a procedure to test for cervical cancer in women. It took all of 10 minutes and thankfully my results came back negative. Thanks to technology, we can diagnose diseases early and increase lifespan. That means just by getting a medical checkup every year, you can increase your lifespan. The problem is that since I lost my dad in 2013, it's become increasingly difficult for me to do medical checkups even though I know it's in my best interest. We react to grief differently, so if you have experienced grief, it may be a motivating factor to get a medical checkup and if that's the case, good. However, for some, it may be a debilitating factor that hinders you from taking your health seriously. If that's the case, you need to work on that because I can literally count a hundred reasons to stay alive. <laughs> laughing at a joke, <laughs> waking up to the smell of bacon, birthing a baby, being a father, starting a business, kissing your pet, protesting for the right cause, being alive to witness new inventions, making your parents proud, sharing this video to make a small YouTuber's dreams come true, being the first to be a millionaire or multi-millionaire or billionaire in your family, watching your dreams come true. Those two 
Chuatel Ejiofor, for 12 years a slave. There are so many reasons to stay alive. Honestly, when you take care of your physical health, you are able to be at your best self. You give others the gift of enjoying you all round. Your physical energy, your bouncing self can also give others strength. Many, many times I've had people say to me, you are so filled with energy. It's like ginger for me. That makes me so happy because you can't give what you don't have. And I'm happy that I'm radiating energy everywhere I go. I'm not going to pretend like I fully understand health insurance and how it works in some countries. In the UK, they have the NHS and it's about £470 for one year. It covers doctor's appointments, medications, tests, family planning, pregnancy, dental treatments and all sorts. In the US, I think it is more expensive according to my research. However, what I cannot understand is people that live in countries where health insurance is so affordable and they can afford it but refuse to sign up for it because they think, mm, I'm not sick right now so I don't need health insurance. In Nigeria, I know Reliance Ichemu has a health insurance plan for 3,500 Naira and it is good insurance. 3,500 Naira is just $9 per month and look at what it covers. I looked up South Africa and they have health insurance from 360 rand per month which is just about $23. Don't wait until you get sick before you get health insurance. It's like waiting until your car breaks down. The cost of fixing that car is like three times the payment of the car insurance. This one time that I was sick last year and didn't have health insurance, I ended up paying five times the cost of the monthly insurance payment because I missed my payment for that month. Aside from scheduling physical checkups, it's also important to take your mental health seriously and health insurance covers that. Alternatively, there are apps like BetterHelp where you can speak with a therapist and it can help you out if need be. I'm sure you're wondering why are we talking about pets. Your pet is an extension of you. If you've got a pet, please take care of it. It really pains me to see people who will go through the trouble of getting a pet and not have a plan to care for it afterwards. The statistics that 80% of pet owners don't know how to care for their pets and 48% of owners do not provide their pets with adequate levels of care when compared with standards set out in the Animal Care Act is really scary. Pets that are not cared for will bring diseases to your home and increase your stress level. Take care of your pets and get pet insurance. Pamper yourself a little bit. Taking care of yourself can mean that you schedule little times to pamper yourself. That can mean cooking a new meal, it can mean visiting a new restaurant, it can mean going for an air wash or making your nails. All those little things, they add up. You've been noticing that your dry skin needs a little bit of lotion, so go out to the supermarket, buy some new lotion for yourself, use something organic, pamper yourself. Flush out hate and negativity because those are the very worst. When you're constantly hating, you honestly can be at your best self because it is so time consuming to be a hater, really. Also, you can attract what you despise. So when you keep up with a negative energy, you will simply attract more negativity into your life. Toxic people are bad for you. They make you think less of yourself and put you under immense pressure. I say it all the time. Do everything to get out of that situation if you're currently experiencing that your productivity will go off the roof and you will function at your best self drinking water has a lot of benefits it boosts your skin health regulates body temperature flushes body waste prevents kidney damage helps with weight loss and delivers oxygen throughout the body please check the description box if you would like to learn more on the health benefits of water Exercise is good for your body. Exercise your body physically, but also exercise your mind. Think of different concepts. Read a book and read a book not because you want to check that off your list, but read a book because you are actually after knowledge. When you take the time to actually study the concepts in a book chapter by chapter, you can get the best out of it. Take advantage of breaks and naps. It can be as little as spending just 10 to 15 minutes taking a walk or just taking a nap. I remember back 
when I was doing my nine to five, we had this little sleep area where you could go in there to nap. I remember really taking advantage of it because I realized that just a 10 to 15 minute nap did my body a whole lot of good. I feel refreshed, I feel relaxed, and I feel like I can tackle the rest of the work day. So take advantage of breaks and naps stop rushing everything it seems crazy but you'd be surprised that a lot of people are always in a rush try to schedule some time ahead so you have time to actually experience whatever it is you're doing at the moment that can be tying your shoelace enjoy tying your shoelace stop rushing that every single time savour your food taste your food mm, it tastes good like take the time to do some things and stop rushing every time it feels like all you're doing is you're in a rush slow down a little bit and really enjoy tasting enjoy smell enjoy texture enjoy admiring the little things i love this one because there are different phases of our lives where it is just not possible to keep the focus on ourselves. Maybe you have a sickly child or a sickly parent or you're seeing your, your siblings through school or you're a nursing mother. If you're going through a tough time and you're unable to dedicate as much time as you would want to yourself, just thinking positively, knowing that this situation is not forever can really help you pull through. And just by using some of the tips that I mentioned, you can still practice self-care even when you're going through this difficult period. For a nursing mother, for example, that can be joining a, a group for nursing moms. For someone who is always, always at home taking care of a sickly child, that can be excusing yourself for 10 minutes to take a walk and just feel the, the breeze on your skin. Practice positive affirmation and be in a positive frame of mind and you just might get out of that situation quicker i hope that this video has seriously helped someone my goal with this video is just so you can sit back take a minute and just look at your life and think am i taking care of myself as much as or as well as i would want to and what are the little things that i can do to improve my quality of life so that i can operate at my best self all right thank you so much for watching if you learned anything from this video or if you have any feedback for me please make sure to leave me a comment and i'll be sure to respond to each and every one of your comments trust me i appreciate you guys for watching um also it does take a while to record and edit this video so if you like watching this video please like it and consider subscribing join the family turn on post notifications so you'll be the first to know when a new post goes live all right i'll see you in the next one some herbal tea. Stop it. It doesn't hit the bag. Take my hand and lead even when.